Hello, I'm Graham Robson, Technical Manager here at Tama. Many twine producers use the value of knot strength as a reference for their twine quality. Completely misleading and totally wrong. Twine strength is technically defined as the maximum stress that it can withstand while being stretched or pulled before breaking. This we call tensile strength and it's very easily measured. When a knot is made in a piece of twine, it immediately reduces that tensile strength. Making a knot effectively introduces a weak point in the twine. Now, do you know, for all makes and models of large square baler, there are only two kinds of knot. The Deering knot, many people call a standard knot, and a Cormick knot, which is often referred to as a loop knot. And the make of baler determines which type of knot is made. Both types of knot do the same job, connecting two pieces of twine together. But the different knots make a huge difference to the subsequent strength remaining in that twine. So, for a producer to quote a knot strength value as a reference without knowing which type of knot it will make, makes it a useless reference. The same twine retains a different strength once a knot was made, depending upon the knot type. Also, testing knots made by a baler will produce a different result from those made by hand. Consider the characteristics in the twine that make a good knot. Twine shape, twists per meter, flexibility of the twine, the grip of the twine. Don't simply think of strength, think of twine performance. It's a far more valuable reference. Thanks for listening. And remember, Tama Assist is always here to help you.